verdim. of a, of a uh, of the whole, not only just the Indian and the Asian subcontinent by foreigners, but uh, there was such a lot of aggression and insult to so many people and their hearts, and that ended in the freedom uh, movement, which was a unique struggle carried on by this whole hundreds of thousands and millions of people who were Muslims and Hindus and Christians and Buddhist people and people of all communities like one brotherhood with sense of principle and with a sense of aspiration which was there in a young heart like a schoolboy as a schoolboy I also felt that yes there was something going on and so when this day comes we think of all that and at that time the people were one the country was one there is a, there is a joint festival for all of us and that's what goes through our heart and our mind and we become a sentimental before before i met you i, I interviewed his excellency the indian ambassador mr naya mm -hmm. and he said you are a mountain and when I saw the people welcoming you, I mean, that day in the embassy, you were their hero. You came and everybody were, uh, you know, I was surprised to see all of this. I mean, everybody came. I mean, we had like 200,000 Indians. And that day was a working day. But they left their job. They came just to greet you. Just their generosity and warmth and kindness. But for it all, I not only thank the people, from the bottom of my heart, but with my spirit and soul, I thank the Maker, Allah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, because it's He who guides us to uh, unknown destinies, and it is who, who brings grace in our lives and sometimes put people in trial. And before Him, we are powerless, so we have to bow. From your admirers and lovers that we've seen that day in the embassy and you are alhamdulillah famous global or internationally but let's start about your your little background you were born in 1923 in Bashawar, yes which is now pakistan yes, in those yes. days yes. it was all one continent yes. then your family had to move to bombay yes. in the early 30s mm -hmm. why did you move 
they didn't move in the earlier thirties. There was trading going on by our ancestors uh, between uh, Afghanistan and you know the Shahul Pesh Awar. That is, it became. It was the first uh, gateway to India, and there was a lot of trading through Asia and China. And this was the route. And my ancestors, they were dealing in dry fruits, and then they were bringing fresh fruits, perhaps only up to Lahore and Delhi. But with the advent of the railways, the fruits could be carried on, and they say these are. My father used to tell me that don't think, uh, talk about your fruits in a term of talking about that you want to become.